Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with episode number 8 of the Ultimate Adventure, Adventure of Uvelion. Male, level 15, Grey Elven Wizard and hopefully soon the first ultra ending winner ever on YouTube. Well, after the last episode I have definitely have to start with saying big 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 thanks to all of you guys again for once again giving Ovelian more than 15 likes within less than 24 hours that's just amazing I think it's an amazing feeling to know that there is more than a dozen Adam maniacs who cross their fingers for Ovelian who enjoy the series that's wow it's, it's really motivating I can't deny that <laughs> apart from that once again in the comments I got a couple of really great hints the first that I want to um, um, take care of right now was a hint from Divi who said that we should not forget to visi visit the Dwarf Mystic right now and get the reward because still we are neutral right now which gives us the chance to get the best rewards from him and soon we will not be neutral anymore and instead we will rather be uh, we will rather be chaotic so let's do that right now absolutely perfect idea so we have to use our teleport spell huh? we had to turn shortcast Anyway, oh, I missed it. So, five on ourselves. I teleport in there into the. Oh, okay, then we teleport to this space right where the mystic was. Give it another try. Over here? Ah, oh, once again it didn't work. One more time, come on. I try the first spacing up. What's going on there? Top left now, probably that works. Yeah, that works. So let's talk to this guy. Oh, he says, Oh, you've been ingenious, keep it that way, take this as a reward. So, what did he give us? A Mithra ring, which is, of course, the ring of cold, seven potions of insight, and we get four scrolls, which I know to be scrolls of corruption removal. Excellent, that's the perfect reward we wanted. Uh, so, let's get out here, and next thing was a hint I got from from Zidlar in the comments. And he said we should probably get rid of a little more weight of stuff we're carrying by creating a small storage area up here. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, the door is locked. Can we open it without kicking it? Have we got the whatever magic key or how it was called? No, we... Uh, knock? Yeah, let's, let's use knock. Oh. Okay, the door got destroyed. Let's try to... Ah, that looks better. That's the door that we can open. Now let's drop here a couple of items that we don't need in the very moment. I... We... I'll drop the Black Torque and the Amulet of Death Ray Resistance. Probably also this crossbow, which is quite heavy. We keep the Under Slayers, but I'll drop more or less all the rest of our ammunition. Quarrels of Unnestling, so I better also keep the crossbow with me and I'd rather drop the bow or something like that. Torches, don't need that. creation. Yes, we've got one wand of monster creation. I'll drop that because we'll need that for another reason later on in this run. Potions. Any potions to drop? I think I will keep the potion of willpower with me because I will drink it very soon. Mm, nothing I really need to drop there. Well, I dropped the scroll of protection and magic mapping and probably increase melee accuracy and definitely I will drop the corruption removal scrolls. Did we also have a potion? No, we did not return the corpse, yes, I remember. We might also drop the bee wax. Who knows? It is just heavy. I'll keep the curaria, but uh, no, not all. I'll, I think I'll keep ten curarias, which we might need for the pyramid. Apart from that, let's drop. I'll drop the twelve blessed stomophilias, or at least eleven of those, just for the moment. 
just to get rid of that weight. I'm gonna drop. I think I'll drop seven or eight antidotes. Just a couple are okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. Nothing very heavy left here. I'll definitely drop the money. That's probably the most heavy thing we're still carrying with us. What else do we have? Oh, we already had got a light crossbow for accuracy, but we, we take the better one with us. Drop the arrows and the other crossbow. So I'm quite happy with our equipment. What I see now, I think we can keep it with us. Ah, that was an amazing idea. Uh, idea, be it only to um, make sure that the stuff doesn't get destroyed. Anything else we should check? Yeah, DV also told me we should take a look at our last recipe. So let's see what we got there. Potion of gain attributes to be made of potion of boost speed and potion of longevity. Well, okay, that's not so easy, but if we get potions of boost speed and potions of longevity, we will keep them both. I'm afraid that th we drank a potion of longevity in the last episode because we didn't know that. Anyway... Let's keep that in mind, that these potions are of special importance for us. So, that's what we wanted to do in Dwarf Town. Now it's time to go back up, scout these remaining levels and see if we find a statue here. Uh, there is at least one important thing I'm looking forward to, which will be on D3, because as Geta77 told me, that's the level where we missed that shop. I'm sure you all remember that we had some very positive pieces of experience with shops. So let's kill these guys. Let's see what they drop. I think there was a distant wind. Yeah, okay, there is a vortex on this level, so we better progress slowly and carefully. Spellbook of Lightning Ball. Thank you very much. I might also take this climbing set and drop it on D1. We're burned again. Not much of a surprise. <coughs> now, I was also told in the comments, I was asked why I don't use the Strength of Atlas spell that we, that we learned. Where is it? Here is it, 700 castings. I just use this spell for real emergencies because so far my character who got closest to, uh, to meet uh, under Darkon and, and beat him, he died because I forgot to recast Strength of Atlas. So he got crushed by the, he got crushed by the weight of his equipment, which was so annoying. That's why I do not use that spell if I'm not in, in, in desperate need of additional carry capacity. Oh, we've got Maces level 5. Excellent. I'm a little afraid to, uh, to read our spellbook on this level because there is still this vortex around. Reading the spellbook, he could just come closer and explode right in our face. And I don't want to risk that. should be a little careful with the frost bolt and probably rather use lightning bolts so I'll can we melee him? Stone golem? I want a stone statue, not a stone golem. Yeah, and melee is easier. Anyway, since we can le learn lightning bolt a lot more with uh, lightning bolt with the, with the new uh, with the new spellbook we found, I'll put lightning bolt on the one now. So, lightning bolt on one. Bear in mind. Where is the Vortex? Probably... Ah, I remember! This is the level with the Vortex room! Okay, here's something invisible. I'm a little afraid of that. Let's fireball it. Did we kill whatever it was? Probably we did. Oh no, there it is, Ogamagus. Take this Ogamagus, and he's down. Excellent. I think I will not care with a fireball chaser right now. Grinding sound in the distance, that means there is a spider who spun its web and somebody got stuck in the webs. Flashed golden. Also, he is not a stone statue. 
but stone statues are not very rare, so I hope we will find it at one point. Scouted. Potion of water, fine. That's a stone statue, yay! Finally, we found it. Let's just kill it. We have completed our current quest. So, when as soon as we are back in Dwarf Town, we will be able to finish the quest and continue downwards deeper into the Caverns of Chaos. That's really perfect. But before we do that, Oh, it's the strange item, I think. Yep, let's take that with us. Before we do that, we have to go back to the surface, scout the remaining levels, and the most important thing we want to do here is to um, to do the pyramid in the end. Probably we'll even do that in this episode. Depends on how long it takes us to get back to the surface. That's so many ants here. Push my boobs, nice. We don't need to sell another ant corpse. Already got backup corpses in two different shops. That's amazing. <coughs> are practically unable to hurt us. They cannot do us any harm. Takes a little tension from these moments, but well, I will not complain. We have to do uh, challenges that I never did before in my time of playing Aedon if we want to be successful with what we uh, want to reach, the Ultra Ending. Which number was... Uh, I cannot remember which number was Nock. Nock was 6. Uh -huh. It's just a couple of stairs in that one corridor. We don't need to uh, deal with these few stairs. Kill this guy, yeah. Eat that guy. And now, I very much like to read our book. A lot more castings, excellent. How many did we get? Let's check that. Lightning bolt, 1,123 casting points. Nice. So, as we're back, uh, back in the big room, we have already completely scouted this room. We have got almost all our stats at potential maximum here. And it seems we do not get an additional point anytime soon. Kitty cat, I do not want to fight you. Have we got uh, yeah seven a stun ray? Okay, just have to remember that again. Oh, water, nice. Ah, the book, fine. Which is an unknown spell. Oh, exciting! There are still a couple of very nice spells that we did not find yet. Here, close the doors and check the spellbook. This time it is no, it's 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 a bear that's going on on Earth. Let's kill it with fireball. Death ray. Ooh, that's interesting. That gives us a chance to insta kill a couple of uh, dangerous monsters for the cost of lots of uh, power points. Oh, come on, stop that. We learned it, come on. Yeah, it takes a long time to, to read this book. Oh. The others cannot open the doors. Death ray, we learned it. It disappears. How many castings did we get? 
we have got more than 800 caustic points of death rate, which is somehow quite cool, I think. Troll blood, nice. Let's directly drink that. Yeah, gives us a little bonus to regeneration. Ordinary ring mail. We take the higher metal warhammer and the potion of water and the money, of course. Brave knuckles. I don't think that we will ever use that. Copper ring. Is there anything else missing on the, l this level? I don't think so. Actually, we got everything we needed here. And I, I just think about completely harvesting these herbs because I don't think that I'm going to do a lot more herb farming on this level anytime soon. So kick that all away and completely harvest away these herbs. I did not want to pick up the rock. Drop the rock. Where was it? Didn't I pick up a rock? Was it probably a heavy rock? And where are our tools? Premises, strange item. What if I can I'll have to check the, the messages. You pick up the rock. Ah, I just added. Oh, I just added. We can just throw it away. Who threw the rock at us? I think it was this guy there. Ah. So. And now harvest away the rest of the herbs. all we wanted to do here. Apart from that, we already scouted the whole level. So let's go back up to D4. Arena level. We can just take a look at the, the other room over here. Apart from that, I do not yet want to do the arena. So let's leave the rest of the level untouched. And instead, get further up. And this is D3. I think on this level we will find this shop that we missed. So let us hope that it's probably an interesting shop with some nice pieces to pick up and not a figurine shop or something like that. A bookshop would be amazing. A mango tome, excellent. Here is uh, one new book. It is a scroll shop. Okay, let's take a look. Increase melee damage, charging, identify, identify. Dark predictions, balance, power. Increase melee damage. Identify vermin control light identify. Ah, there I, I like these identify scrolls, but I think there is nothing among it that we definitely need right now. So let us just leave it for a while. Let's read this tome. Neutralize poison, okay, we take that. These utility spells are always nice to have. You never know when you get heavily poisoned. Oh, go away. Um hmm. I better kill him elsewhere because I do not want to risk. Oh, I just do the melee. No, it doesn't work. Take that. I think I'll buy this scroll of increased melee damage so nobody can get in here and I can continue to read the book. So, pay. We don't have enough money, I think. So that's this level. Getting hungry, so let's eat a couple of these corpses. And now further up. I think we've got probably two level twos left to explore. I do not remember if we completely I think we completely scouted a couple of the first levels if I remember correctly. But not this one. Just by the way, I'm not going to do the pyramid in this episode. Probably we have to do that tomorrow because, um, yeah, I've still got I'm uh, I've got uh, some nice things to do to do uh, today. My sister-in-law is uh, is in town and we want to meet and uh, eat something together and have a nice day. And also, I'd like to make some music later today. 
so I'll keep this episode halfway short. <laughs> not exactly short, I think, but uh, well, not as long as it might have been otherwise. Uh oh, so the range of our spells is getting bigger and bigger. That was close to ourselves in <laughs> the bouncing. Back to the upstairs. Kill this guy, come on. Good. I again forgot it was seven was stun ray. Stun the cat and retreat. Spellbook of light. We already had enough castings of light, but we'll read it anyway. Blue so wizard. You can never have enough castings of your spells. Quite sure we won't run out of castings of light in this game anymore. This level had already been scouted completely, so let's just take a look at the other downstairs of this level. Some snakes around here. Where are the other downstairs? Which one was Nock? Oh, I forget it all the time. Six. There are the, uh, the downstairs. Did we miss anything on this level? Nope, completely scouted. So, time to get to the uh, to get out of the caverns of chaos again. The last thing I want to do is enter the pyramid, so in the next episode we can start directly with a pyramid quest. So, here we go. Hobgoblin Patrol, we might just kill these guys. Just check if they drop something we like. I said nope. Oh, I forgot something. I wanted to drop something at D1. I should probably do that right now. Spending a turn or two. Um, I wanted to drop here. Probably even a little more. Um, I'll definitely drop here the, the climbing set, because no need to take that with me. I'll keep the rest, we might go to the high mountain village to sell it. Definitely want to go to the high mountain village rather soon. But uh, this is the point we wanted to reach in this in today's episode. So uh, let me just uh, finish by saying once again thanks for all these amazing hints which really helped us a lot. I think that we can be extremely happy with Uvelion's progress. As soon as we got ourselves uh, Ankh and the Ancient Mummy wrapping, we will be even better prepared. So let's hope in the next episode that we will do well again. I might just... wait... Oh, we don't get a willpower increase. I might just before I end this episode uh, bless the potion of willpower and drink it. Increasing our willpower to 21. Excellent. And now let's end this episode. So, thanks for your support. Bye everybody. Hope to see you again next time.